Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering John Constantine, who happens to be the member's pick of the month. He made his very first appearance in Swamp Thing Volume 2, issue number 37, that was released in June of 1985. He's a British paranormal investigator and powerful magic wielder that stands six feet tall, weighs 158 pounds, having blonde hair and blue eyes. Now, Constantine has extensive knowledge of many different forms of magic and rituals, as well as at various times having access to very powerful mystical artifacts. Overall, he's one of the most adept sorcerers in the DC Universe, primarily being an expert in black magic, which happens to be one of the most dangerous forms of magic, being that it takes a major toll on the well-being of its users. Throughout the years, he's displayed a myriad of different abilities, some of which include astral projection, chlorokinesis, which is the control of plants, a limited degree of cosmic awareness, the ability to cast spells to summon demons and travel between dimensions, attack others with electrokinesis as well as energy projection, which itself has been expressed through fire-based attacks. He can also produce magical energy constructs to do whatever he'd like with. To go on, he's an expert at exorcisms, illusion casting, invisibility, mind control, necromancy, which is the manipulation of dead beings, telekinesis, and teleportation. And that's not to mention that he is powerful enough to use magic that at its maximum can destroy gods. Now, in addition to his magic-based powers, he's just naturally an expert at deception, escapology, hypnosis, investigative skills, intimidation, basic hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as having an indomitable will. The only thing that you could kind of call one of his downfalls is that he's been nerfed over his career. He used to have demon blood in his veins, which would let him use black magic and spells that would normally destroy a normal human. But now he does not have this mystical blood. Now, Constantine is an interesting character, being one of those rare, pure anti-heroes that neither strongly leans towards good or bad, being distrusting and cynical of just about everyone around him. This lone wolf is pretty much feared by everybody, trusted by few, but needed by many. He regularly brandishes powerful magic without being troubled with social norms, typically using anything and anyone to get what he wants. Fortunately for his associates and those around him, he typically wants what's right most of the time. Now, what we know of his original backstory is that he was born and raised in Liverpool, England, although he's had some conflicting stories about his childhood. But inevitably, each of these stories ends with the tragic loss of his family. He was pulled into the occultic world as a teenager and spent many years traveling around Europe, deepening his knowledge before going to New York City to study with Nick Necro and Baron Winters. Here, Constantine would eventually end up falling for Necro's girlfriend, Zatanna, who's also a well-known and powerful magic user. Together, they would fight against the Cult of the Cold Flame, but their alliance would fracture when Nick's obsession with the Book of Magic brought Zatanna and John together. Seeking vengeance for this, Nick would bargain with the Cold Flame to put Constantine in hell in exchange for his help in finding the Books of Magic. Constantine would outsmart Nick, though, and send him to hell instead. Although Constantine's subsequent fling with Zatanna would be broken after his occult investigations resulted in the passing of her father, Zatara. They wouldn't see each other again until Constantine tracked her down after learning of the Enchantress's separation from her human host. He brought Zatanna in when he was helping to form the Justice League Dark, needing all the help he could get in fighting the threat that the Enchantress now posed to the world. Constantine would also try to alter the race for Pandora's box, even temporarily borrowing Shazam's powers. But despite this, he was still unable to prevent the crime syndicate from invading Earth. Ultimately, though, he was key in their defeat, and he would then go on to renew his battle against the Cold Flame, magically being transported to Earth 2. There, he would take out an alternate version of himself to save a large group of people, including some of his family, from Darkseid and the rampaging Parademons. He would bring these saved people to Earth, but then would teleport away, knowing that he had done what he thought was necessary, as usual. Now, Constantine has had many different adventures, almost too numerous to name. And despite always having a solid relationship with the Swamp Thing, Constantine has always been a bit standoffish to his fellow humans. So lucky for us, what he typically chooses to do for himself happens to be good for the rest of us as well. Now... For his powers and abilities, and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give John Constantine a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. 
I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.